Hello, this is Derek Masiaga with study.com. In this video, I'm going to help walk you through some example economics problems that you might find on the Praxis Middle School Social Studies exam. Let's get started. Question one, which of the following best describes the term interest in the context of factor markets? A, the cost of borrowing money, B, the cost of procuring natural resources, C, the cost of hiring labor, or D, profits from selling goods or services. So in this question, we're focused on the word interest in the context of factor markets. So we kind of have to know what is a factor market? Well, factor market is a term to describe the resources that businesses use to get what they need to produce their goods. And so just based off of that, I'm eliminating option D. It's talking about Option D is talking about getting profits, okay? Well, if you look at all the other options, A, B, or C, it is the cost of. And that's kind of what this context of a factor market is. So between A, B, and C, where do we most normally kind of hear the term interest? And we normally hear the word interest on a loan, right? You pay, you're going to pay this amount of interest on a loan. And what is a loan? A loan is, you know, borrowing money. So the correct answer here is going to be option A. Question two. If a nation decides to allocate resources to education instead of national defense, it would be considered an example of A, demand over supply, B, economic advancement, C, marginalized capital, or D, opportunity cost. So there's a couple key terms here, right? The, the nation is deciding to allocate resources to education instead of national defense. And so out of these four options, you know, this best describes option D, opportunity cost. Okay, they are deciding to do, to put those resources in one area, in this case education, versus another one, which is national defense. And so all of the other options just kind of don't make sense um, in this context. Question three, in which of the following market structures do firms have some control over the price of their product? A, perfect competition, B, monopoly, C, monopolistic competition, or D, oligopoly? All right, so which market structures do firms have some control over the price? That's kind of our key term here, okay? And so I'm looking at options B and C because they're talking about monopoly, right? So monopoly kind of, we have that um, context of having control, okay? So just to eliminate option A, a perfect competition, what that means is just it's actually a theoretical market structure where all companies are all selling the exact same products at the exact same price. That would be a perfect competition. So that doesn't fit our question here. And an oligopoly is just saying that there's a limited amount of competition. There's a small amount of uh, producers. So between B and C, where which, um, what market structure would firms have to have some control? And so we know that option B, a monopoly, would mean that they would have total control. So option B is not the answer either. We're going to go with C, a monopolistic competition. Question four, which of the following best describes the purpose of a diversified investment portfolio? A, to invest in as many different industries as possible. B, to reduce the risk of any one investment performing poorly. C, to increase the potential return on investment. D, to maximize the amount of money invested. All right, so once again, we are talking here about the purpose of a diversified investment portfolio. Well, option A doesn't seem to make sense, right? To invest as many different industries as possible. That, that just kind of implies that you're just putting the money in in these different places just to do it, right? And that just does, doesn't have any logic behind the, um, the purpose. Um, 
Option C, to increase the potential return on investment. We're going to do that no matter what kind of portfolio portfolio we have. Okay, so it's not going to be, option C isn't specific enough. Same thing with option D, to maximize the amount of money invested. You're going to do that no matter what, right? No matter what kind of um, strategy that you're using here. So option D is not correct. The correct answer here is going to be option B. We are, we are diversifying the portfolio in case one thing does poorly, we have other investments that have the, the best strategy involved um, to increase our profits. All right. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, check out our other videos and then also make your way over to study.com to check out our Praxis test prep courses. As a study.com member, you'll get full access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones I just walked you through, plus targeted instruction for any topics that you're still struggling with, as well as test strategy to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful, and then let us know down below in the comments if there are any specific topics that you want us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying!